face as they travel to enemy territory looking for a win. Well, before you look ahead to your busy week, sit down, relax, pull up a chair as we bring you another NBA broadcast. And thanks for sharing part of your weekend with us. Hi, everyone. Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Doris Berger, Hall of Fame sideline reporter David Aldridge. And a great surprise tonight. Our surprise guest will be in the booth calling the game with us tonight. Folks, we have Laker legend, 18-time NBA All-Star Kobe Bryant here at the table. Kobe, thanks for stopping by. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure to see all of you. Thank you for having me. What up, YouTube? Jaron here. And the first thing you have to notice in this gameplay, yeah, there's no commentary. There's no commentary in this whole episode, so in this, I'm just going to pull like all the great highlights in this game because it was a really good game from start all the way to the very end. So stay tuned and watch the whole entire gameplay. And the only reason there's no commentary throughout the whole gameplay is because, as you guys know today, the NBA Finals, Golden State Warriors, and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I don't care. I don't give a flying. Okay. I don't care. Because this is the fourth year in a row we're having this again. Are we going to go for 10 more years of going to stay in the Cavs? I don't care. I'm not going to watch it. I'll root for the Cavs. Okay, I'll root for the guys. I'm not going to root for that Golden State Warriors because of that they got that snake there. I don't care. I really don't care. So, throughout this whole week, I'll probably do all... I'll continue with every day, maybe. Every day, maybe, of the my career for NBA 2K18. Hell, I would play... I would play... I would play this... Then watch the NBA Finals. I'll play Fortnite. Then watch the NBA Finals. Okay? I'll play video games. Then watch the NBA Finals. Okay? I'm not going to watch it. Because this is... I don't want to see it. I don't care who wins. Like I said, I'm going to root for the Cavs. I don't care if they win or lose. Also, really, they're going to lose. Either a sweep or if they can win one. But I don't care. So that's all I'm going to say. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'll see you guys later. Side and then that team will win a championship and then the rest of the teams in the league will try to copycat the way the game is played that way and then things will swing back so it, it's just natural evolution of the game I think and, and Ingram the, the former Blue Devil an extraordinary player the only promises to get better Damn. And with uh, all the different uh, technological advances in the league you see a lot of player and coaches now reviewing because they knew that what I was trying to do was trying to push them to be the best version of themselves four on the clock Here's Ennis. It's the front end. Hitting the covenant. And the turnover. And not get off the shot. Why did he do this? Instead of just saying, them, 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 they're going to look at, go back and check the film and ask questions. Okay, why did he mess up there? Why did he go that coverage there? He hangs in there and catches it on the second chance points. And the Lakers lead by six. Over the course of your career, Kobe, five NBA championships. Uh, are there any of those that really stand out among among the, the, the five that you accumulated? The last one, beating the Celtics. That, that was the hardest one by far to get. Why so? Well, you know, we, we're going into Boston now with the series tied 1-1. And Boston is absolutely excited about having the split and going home now and having three games at home, thinking that the series was not going to come back to L.A. And so that was an interesting playing flight for us. And then the Bronx is a very nice
Here's Clarkson. The Knicks making the shot. The score of the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Traveling was a part of your job, a part of mine. You, you miss some things with the kids, but I know you take pride, Kobe, in the fact that you made it to a lot of things as well. You were not an absent parent. Well, yeah. I mean, it's a, you know, I, I, I have a, having a great partner. I mean, that, that's, you know, I have to ask how she feels about handling that. You know what yes. I mean? Because that's true pressure. Well, it seems like uh, with more threes and more skill-based play, the, the league is adapting more of a European style of play. You grew up in Italy. Kobe, you know about that style. You appreciate this style. And taught by these amazing American coaches. So we, we're kind of fortunate in terms of the time that we grew up. Wells, the shot is good. And, and incredible shooting there from Wells. Definitely a threat to sink those perimeter shots. Pass to Persingas. The run, rebound by Hammonds. And Kobe, while those coaches were imparting the fundamentals of law, did that get lost in translation, you think, here in the States? Well, I think they just took for granted. They tune you out? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I can say something a million times. But if Beyonce says it one time, yeah. <laughs> it's law. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> hey, I've been saying the same thing for years. No one listens to me. And you can sense they're starting to take charge here. Watching the dunks of Jordan. Now it's got kids that want to shoot the ball from distance. Yeah, yeah, shoot the ball from distance now. Kind of become like a home run of baseball. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Where it's exciting to watch the ball in flight. <laughs> you people say stuff all the time that you don't necessarily believe. Right? I, I never felt, though, that you ever said anything that you truly did not believe in your heart. Yeah, well, I think most people do, right? When, when, you're, when you're having a moment, you're looking at it and you say, you know what, should I send this out on social media? <laughs> yeah, I really do believe this. I really do. And then you send it, and the next morning you're like, oh, what? You had no regrets. Uh, Damn! Everything's a life lesson. Oh, shit. My goodness, what a move to be left the defender in the dust. And then effortlessly laid it in, and he just makes it look so easy. So what was it like playing with a guy like him, if you also played with Jordan, and then going up against him all those years? Well, I think it was a shocking experience for them because I don't think they realized how much I could talk trash. <laughs> and so, no. Yeah, what? I don't think they knew because, you know, when you talk with this person, it's like, oh, you're quiet. Uh, you know, they'll take that every time. There's a screen. To the paint. Here's Nance. That misses when Cutter had him on in. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball. It's up front, leading by just two. Point guards that we saw in the NBA Finals, Steph Curry and Kyrie Irving, and they go about their business a little bit differently. Obviously, it's the handle of Kyrie Irving and his ability to not only navigate off the dribble, really tough contains both of them. I, I like how you mentioned the finish because the finish sometimes get in there and make it look great, but you can't get the two. It says, now put the points on the board. <laughs> <laughs> on the court for the Knicks, Doug McDermott is out there with Porzingis. That's Jared Bayless. Then it's Ennis Kent and it's Hardaway in the shooting guard position. Yeah, I think when you look at what Porzingis can do on the offensive end of the floor, you see why he is so dangerous, right? He's got a great perimeter shot. He's got unbelievable size and a great... Yeah, I don't think it's ever easy playing on the road, obviously. But that night, they were really in rhythm, shot the ball with such ease and confidence. Wells, the shot is good. And Wells has such a quick release. He's ready to pull as soon as the ball hits his head. Nick Turman kicks to Hardaway. There's a screen by Cannon. And it's Bayless in the corner. That drops and it comes off the assist from Hardaway. Hardaway has got four assists now tonight. And that's how he lands her back. But you can tell that was a little get good, get good. Executing well on the offensive end, but next on the deep threat. Who's my that's good? The 80s and 90s are talking about. Bernard King, Patrick Ewing, Allen Houston, the great Pat Riley at the helm, and more recently, you're talking about the likes of Carmelo Anthony. The Knicks have had some ballers in their history. Oh, he, he went for the two-hander on the slam, the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. 
this one. A three and another three for the Lakers. There's some learning how to win. What can a, a coach do to keep them confident and inspire them through the tough times, the growing pains? You know, Kev, I think one thing you always hear coaches talk about is the process, and you can't skip steps. And so I think if you throw... Oh, 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 Jay, that one takes. Jay's got to got four in this point. What the fuck? It's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in, Kevin. Picked by O'Quinn. Takes it to Bates. They set the pick. Feeds to McDermott. Picked by O'Quinn. Six to shoot. Last break. The Lakers. Ingram's running. And slam dunk by Ingram. Cantor dishes to Hardaway. Sink his pass to Bates. Shot clock at six. There's a screen by Cantor. With some arc. Got a piece of it. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Yeah, it's been about the fast break. Jay's got it got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Wells. And foul on the shot, so the bucket counts and a chance for one more here. Well, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Of the offense, terrific spreading the basketball around the floor. And a foul called on the shot, got him on the wing. 
three up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. That's on Ennis Cannon, and he knocks down the first one. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. All three throws good from Chain. And Bayless kicks to Hardaway. Offensive rebound. Here's Persingas, and they convert it last on a tip number three. And it's now only a one-point Laker lead. Jay, the pass to Wells. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Seconds left to play in the final quarter. Persingas nails it. Oh, you love the aggressiveness and the swagger that Persingas has to take that shot. Such a clutch play from the left hand. I get six. Monroe with a screw on Kutcher. 11 feet away. That one, a lot of left. New York calls timeout. They're trailing by two. And it's an inch with the ball. There's a screen by Cantor. And Bayless kicks to Persingas to the inside. Cantor. It falls! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Boy, uh, Ennis Cantor's willingness to be the guy to take over in a critical stretch. <laughs>
Kevin, another win for you guys. How have you guys been able to play at this level and put all these wins together at this point in the season? You know, a lot of it is focus. You know, the season is long. There's going to be good stretches. There's going to be bad stretches. But, you know, we just try to, get, try to get better every time we come out on the court. Well, you are trending north right now. Congratulations. Back to you guys.